In today's video, we're talking about the top five mistakes I've made as a YouTuber. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Mr. Football back here again and back to the closet. Uh, for another closet video, but uh, we're talking about uh, a top five video today on top five mistakes I've made as a YouTuber. And been on YouTube for a long time, been better part of nine to 10 years now. 20, end of 2020 is going to be uh, 10 years for me. It's a huge monumental feat that I've even stayed around this long. There were times um, in between graduating college to getting my first official job that I wanted to, you know, delete my channel or to stop posting content there. Um, and honestly, I don't, um, I don't have any second, second doubt about it. Like I'm, I'm glad I'm here. I'm glad to continue to do videos. Uh, the people that I that have found me, uh, found my channel have always had a lot of good praise about what the channel is. Um, but I wanted to talk about the top five mistakes that I've made as a YouTuber. Uh, starting off with number five, uh, and I made I put these in order as far as, um, you know, obviously going from five to one. Uh, my fifth mistake, um, number five, was making a second channel, all right? Uh, there was a push, I would say about nine, maybe eight or nine years ago on YouTube where there was a lot of real popular YouTubers that once at some point they would create a second channel um, and that second channel might have vlogs on it or might have exclusive content or it may have videos that are maybe longer versions of other videos um, and stuff like that um, and and so around the second year that I was doing YouTube maybe even after the first year honestly if I really think back to it um, I would say, yeah, in 2011, I started the channel UA Reviews 2, uh, and that's kind of the common thing that people did, was they just made their channel name, and then they put a 2 after it, or they put vlogs, or some kind of other thing, um, and that's what uh, I did, and there's actually, for some of you who may get this inside joke, there's actually a third channel as well for me as well, it's called Gatorade Reviews, it has two videos on it, uh, great content, uh, but anyway, um, I that was a mistake making that second channel because you know that and now the channel ua reviews 2 is now mr football coach so that's kind of where um that that's if you want to look up that channel name that's where it is but that's my second channel and there's a lot of different content on there um and so i just kind of regret making that channel because i could have put more content on this channel um, and that would have, I think would have been fine. I just had like a kind of a complex with as far as like how I started my YouTube channel that everything had to be about Under Armour. Um, and that's kind of what got into it. And, and, and that's what, and so I wanted to do different things rather than just doing reviews because I was, I was just, and I'll go into this a little bit later, but I was just making videos about Under Armour products. And then, like, when I wanted to expand out, like, I just put it on that second channel. Um, the fourth thing, fourth mistake, uh, as far as going through this one, um, it's criticism. Uh, it's, taking, uh, the, it's taking the criticism and, you know, letting it affect you. Uh, and and you, whether it's someone that leaves a nasty comment uh, or something, like, that's, it's just part of YouTube. It's a part of the Internet. Uh, especially when you put yourself out on a digital platform where people can comment, that stuff's just bound to happen. Um, but my channel is so small that, you know, I see all of that. You know, it's not in a huge thread of thousands of, you know, like, you know, real popular YouTubers. They get it all, YouTubers, they get it all the time. Um, but I see it, um, and it hurts. And, and so some people have had really good criticism, um, and, you know, some criticism I got not long ago was they couldn't really hear the video as well. And then I went back and looked at the video and, well, I was filming on a different camera. It was in a different room. So, yeah, there were some different factors there. But, you know, when you read things like that, it does hurt you. Um, but I've learned, you know, to and, and some of my, I guess, uh, coping mechanism that I have with some of the hate that is thrown towards me, whether people that they call me fat, whether they call me to tell me that I look like Jonah Hill, uh, which I really don't like. And so what I do is, is I, um, 
I just, I either make fun of that person, I, you know, have something snarky to say back to them. And so that, it's honestly kind of fun to do that. So I don't get hateful, I try not to get too mean back at them, but you usually never see another response. So that's just kind of the funny thing about criticism. So, um, and, and honestly, there have been a lot of good people that, you know, still watch this channel that have small criticisms that they want to see. Um, and I take those into consideration. So, you know, if you think that, you know, we can improve on something, like that's always, well, you're always welcome to say it. Um, I just never know how I'm going to react to it. So um, the third mistake that I've made is uh, is on social media. And it's just the, mis it's a simple mistake of just not being as active on social media. Uh, you know, YouTube in itself is its own platform, but it's integrated to the point where, you know, you can link everything social media based down in the comments below or down in the description box. And so it's like, I can, I can have a Twitter page dedicated to uh, Mr. Football. I can have an Instagram, a Facebook page, um, and everything else in between. I can have all those things. Um, but for me, it was always, I could never balance having all of that. And right now, the only two things that I run, um, I run Discord and I run uh, Instagram. That's, that's all I do. Um, and Discord is just you know, another platform for our, for our viewers. Uh, you know, to communicate with me on there. Um, I had a Facebook page for UA Reviews at one point. I ain't been on there in years. Don't know what it's like. Um, I had a Twitter for UA Reviews. Um, I guess I started back in some, at some point in college. Um, and I, I'm not updated to Mr. Football. So UA Reviews is still out there on Twitter. Um, but I've never really used it as well as I should. Um, and it's just simply... up up to time. I just don't have the time to update those things constantly. I know I talk about it a lot at the end of my videos, but I just want you guys to connect with me on Instagram because we use Instagram for a lot of uh, purposes uh, on just the channel, especially with our live streams. So uh, it's a way for you guys to contact me and, and communicate. And so that's, you know, why we use Instagram and not some of the other things that is out there. Uh, the second uh, top I guess we're still in the top five here. Um, number two uh, would be that so much of my channel for a long time, I was so one-dimensional, okay? So the reason I started the channel, I wanted to review Under Armour products. Um, and if you guys have been around long enough, you know this story. Um, you know, I saw a, a guy filming and reviewing his Under Armour stuff. And I was like, I want to do that too. And so I did it. And then I realized that at some point I wanted to start doing more football based products. Uh, and so I started to kind of venture out. But what I did was I put myself in, in kind of a, a vacuum and I only wanted to do under our products. And so that's just how it all began. And so the channel was based on a reviews channel for the brand Under Armour. And so, but what I did was I was just way too one dimensional when I could have been out there reviewing other products, could have been reviewing other things. Um, and now we really don't do that anymore. You know, we're pretty much a all football channel where we talk about, you know, football gear. We talk about, you know, different things in football, like, you know, coaching. We talk about uh, drills. We talk about, you know, just different things that uh, come with the sport. And so we do how-to videos. I mean, we do it all. And so it's really become a more inclusive channel just that everybody can find something that they want to watch on here. And so that's what it's become now. Um, because, and I'll get to the final point here, being one dimensional put me in kind of a, in a vacuum, like I said. So when someone would request uh, a topic or whatever, they would say like, oh, you should review the Nike Vaporjet gloves. Well, being that I was Under Armour Reviews, I wasn't going to do that. Okay. And so what it did was it put me, you know, it, it isolated me. And so there was only so many people that watched me. And so if I would, if I had done other things, I would have done more things. If I, if I had paid attention to the trends more often, uh, I think I would have, you know, I think the channel would have grown a little bit more than it has. And, and to be honest with you, like, uh, I blame a lot of myself you know, for, you know, not letting the channel grow. I've really held it back and didn't venture out. And so being one dimensional really hurt me. Um, final thing to say, number one, uh, is just being consistent. 
Um, and I'm going to talk about this uh, in, in the, as far as the standpoint of, you know, consistency on the channel uh, for me has never been really that good. I've been pretty good about it here in the last, you know, few years or so. I've been I've been pretty good about videos, but in college when I started this, I had quite a bit of time to you know devote to YouTube. Uh, if I wasn't in college, I had an entire summer to film, edit videos, do different things. I mean, that's where a lot of the bulk of my channel goes uh, back to is those early days um, on YouTube. But what ended up happening was you know once i got my very first job i still tried to back in 2014 which you know a long time ago but back then i got my first job teaching and coaching at a small school um, and i had a lot on my plate that very first year you know you can see there is a at some point in there there was a huge gap between my videos where the last video i filmed until i came back there was just a huge gap between, you know, just not uploading. I mean, it was about a year uh, that I just didn't upload anything. I just, I couldn't find the time. Um, and I tried, I tried uh, to do that. And I, I still found, I found time that first year, but I can remember my second year as a coach, I don't think I posted anything until uh, that late spring. And it ended up being, you know, right at about a year that I was just not on YouTube. Uh, you know, all the videos were there, but, you know, I hadn't updated any content. Um, and so that's part of the consistency thing. The thing that hurt me most uh, was, you know, during football season. I'm so busy during football uh, because honestly, you know, what puts, you know, the reason that I'm able to live in this house, uh, the reason that I'm able to, you know, have the things I have is I have a job and, and YouTube is not my job. So it's a hobby to me and I have a lot of hobbies. So this one falls into the hobby chart um, it's been great, you know, being on the quarantine and, and being home. I've been able to do a ton of videos. Uh, that's been great, but and it's helping my consistency, uploading two videos a week. Um, you know, at one point in time in my channel, I was uploading five videos a week at some, at some crazy time in my life. I was able to get that much out. Um, and the more that, they, more that you talk about, um, you know, being consistent on YouTube and doing things like that has really I try to just be as I, I do enough to get the channel going in the right direction I try not to do too much because at the end of the day like this isn't my paying job this is this job this right here is not putting uh, food on the table like I mean that's it's my job you know as a teacher and as a coach and so that's what I'm you know and so that's that's just the thing like I'm not this is the full-time job It'll never be a full-time job, and I'm not gonna, you know, quit my day job to focus on this. Um, I know that's not where the money is, I, and I don't. And you know, YouTube could be gone tomorrow, uh, and and this video could never matter. All right, and the ad revenue that I get off of this, I could, you know, lose it all in an instant. So I have a, you know, security blanket. You know, having a teaching license and doing that thing and, and coaching for the love of the sport. Uh, that's what I do, and so um, I won't be as I won't be a great YouTuber, all right. And that's just the thing. But I do my best for the viewers, um, and it's not about views. It's not about monetization for me. It's about interacting with the people that have uh, found my channel. Uh, it's the live streams. It's all the fun that we have. It's just it's a blast, and and, and I hope to continue to do this uh, for as long as I can. And. And that's and that's really it. So, um, so my, going back through the top five mistakes, obviously uh, we'll go start back with five was creating a second channel. Number four was taking criticism uh, too much, uh, taking it to heart, and so forth. Uh, number three was not being as active on social media as I could. Uh, number two was being one dimensional for a long period of time on the channel, uh, and then consistency was number one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this, if, if you're a YouTuber and, and you're like me and you found, you know, you know, something out of this, hopefully, you know, you got something out. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you've made mistakes on YouTube or if you, if you're a YouTuber, I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. Um, I, I think my situation is kind of unique and I, I know everybody else is as well. Um, we will see you guys in the next video. 
Um, be sure to subscribe. Check out my Instagram page and follow us on Discord. You know, go join the Discord server. Uh, but we'll see you guys next time. I'm Mr. Football, and I'm out of here.